and this is my Jesus story. He speaks on our behalf since we don't have the right. So Haley's um, studying to be a primary teacher and um, yeah, she likes getting her nails done and likes a bit of netball inside too. Yeah. Flick is studying to be a vet and she really likes doing Rubik's Cubes, likes doing maths for fun. Yeah. It's pretty good, I like maths a lot. So I think um, we became friends probably when we were in year two. two. Yeah. And then we were in the same class all the way until year six at primary school. And our like, it was sort of like, we sort of just kept on like, I don't know, bumping into each other, I guess. Because like, well, when you're in the same class, you bump into each other sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, so I grew up in a Christian family, so um, there wasn't a point, um, I would say, where I didn't know Jesus, um, but um, as I grew up, I got to understand more of the gospel and um, what that meant um, and what God has done. And um, yeah, I think one big turning point for me was um, in year five, I decided to read the Bible and that took me all the way through to year, till year eight. Um, so um, yeah, that I guess through that... Um, I got to know Jesus better and also how um, I should live in response to that. Um, so my family um, didn't really go to church when I was growing up, but um, I was always in scripture at school. Um, and so I think I knew through that that there was, um, yeah, there was a God out there or there was something out there, um, but I didn't really know how I was supposed to respond to that. Um, and then going into high school, I think I really ignored that. Um, and I got to a point in year eight when everyone was sort of um, forming their identities. They were kind of choosing which way they wanted to go in life, what they wanted to do, and sort of who they wanted to be. But I just wasn't really sure. Um, and I got a call from Felicity, really, um, out of the blue, one weekend. Um, we hadn't seen each other. Yeah, we hadn't really been hanging out since primary school. But um, yeah, she asked if I wanted to go to this um, camp at church. Um, and I wasn't really sure at first, but I thought, why not? I'm not really doing anything. Mum said, yep, why not? So I ended up going um, to the youth group camp. Um, so yeah, I was um, thinking about going along to camp and I wasn't really sure. And um, I was thinking of inviting someone. Um, and Mum says, why don't you invite Haley?" And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like she might think that's a bit weird. Like I haven't spoken to her in a while and like she'll probably not really want to come and it was like a week from the camp um, but yeah I invited her and then yeah she came <laughs> So at this um, youth camp, when I went along, I just saw that the leaders um, and the youth group members there, they were just different to my friends at school. Um, they all seemed so different um, to each other, but then they had this common, they just had something in common. They had a common purpose, um, which I just thought was really, yeah, really different to my friends at home. So I, um, I decided to keep going along to youth group. And about six months later, uh, I decided to go to um, another youth group camp, a massive convention in Katoomba for teenagers um, and I heard um, yeah, a story from Luke 15 um, about two sons where they, one of the sons just runs from the father um, and when he turns back, when he realises his mistake, the father just welcomes him home um, and I realised then that I had essentially run from God um, even though I knew that he was he was there, I'd run from him, um, and I heard that night that um, Jesus died on the cross so that we could turn back to God and that God would welcome us um, when we turned back. So I knew that night um, that I was going to follow Jesus because um, I knew that he had died for me. Um, so seeing Haley become a Christian um, was so exciting, um, but yeah, at the same time it wasn't surprising because, um, yeah, I guess you can see... Um, God had been working in her life um, and um, moving her towards that point. There is only one um, so I started following Jesus um, and as I went through the rest of high school, I think that um, I, was, I was a Christian, but I think that my life wasn't really matching up with what I believed in. Um, I think that um, yeah, at school people knew I went to youth group, but they didn't necessarily know what I really believed in. Um, and I think that by the time I got to year 12, um, 
I really started running away from God. Um, I remember seeing friends at school who sort of were supposedly Christians before, um, yeah, they stopped following Jesus and I just started running away um, and I um, just made some decisions and um, had some relationships that just weren't, um, yeah, weren't helpful um, and I was really trying to get away from God but um, now I can see that um, God had friends in my life who wouldn't let me. Um, yeah, he put people in my way that just wouldn't um, let me walk away. And so, um, yeah, I realized that God um, kept coming after me even when I kept trying to run away from him. Um, and I look back now um, on the story of the prodigal son from Luke 15 that I first heard preached um, when I became a Christian. And now I can see um, that um, in that story, um, there's a verse that I really like. Um, it's Luke 15, verse number 28, um, and this is when the younger brother has come back, um, and the elder brother is not happy. Um, and he says, it says, the elder brother became angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. Um, and I realized that God has pleaded with me. Um, and when I've tried to run out um, in anger, or when I've tried to leave, like he won't let me leave. Um, and I know that because I trust in Jesus, um, I know that God will never let me go. Um, so I know now that um, even though life isn't always easy and even though um, there's still bad decisions and um, yeah, I think I still fail and I still disappoint people, but I know that um, God will always be there um, and he won't let me go and he won't let me run away. Oh, our mediator was the ransom for us all. Come on. Um, so um, looking back, um, one of the most encouraging things um, in my um, faith in God um, and in yeah, coming along regularly to youth groups and church and things has been Haley and um, her becoming a Christian and um, yeah, being my sister in Christ, which is really cool. She's not just a friend, um, she's a sister. Um, and um, yeah, so I just sort of think like, why was I so hesitant? Like I was so like, you know, like unsure about inviting her and like my mum really had to be like, just, you know, invite her. So, um, yeah, and I'm so glad that um, she encouraged me to do that. So, um, yeah, I guess just um, if you're, you know, hesitant about inviting friends to stuff and you're really unsure and worried about what they'll think of you or something, like don't be um, because, um, yeah, they can become a Christian and that is the most awesome thing. Um, to see someone become a Christian and the most awesome thing that, um, yeah, for them. Um, so now I, I just know that um, Jesus will always be there. Um, and I know now that um, whatever happens in the future, um, I have hope. I have hope um, knowing that um, I'm part of God's family um, and that Jesus will not let me go um, and that whatever happens, he will be there. Um, yeah, so I'd encourage you. Just keep following Jesus um, because he will not let you go. If you trust in him um, and you know that he has died for you, um, then he will never let you go.